I am back. I am back to chop it up with you guys before I end this uh end this right quick. So I want to send a super super shout out to my man. Uh ah, damn it, man. My man Javon for coming on. Oops, wait a minute. So I want to send a super shout out for Javon for coming on. Uh, I want to send a super shout out to everybody that was here today. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and uh, acknowledge some of you guys for being here. Uh, Jiggly Trucker, thank you very much for being here. Dream Big, thank you for being here. Sean Brown, thank you for being here. Sean, you said you spent $6,500 for your for your trucking school, an eight week course, $6,500. Do you guys realize how much these trucking schools be making to give you your CDLs within, within a couple of weeks, man? $65,000. Me, I was 5,600. Uh, my man, Javon, 3,000. Woo, it is expensive. If you're thinking about getting into the truck, though, for real, for real, if you're thinking about coming out here in this career, I mean, in this career, whoops, there we go, there we go. It just snapped out. I hope I'm back. <laughs> if you guys thinking about getting in, into this career, man, I mean, it is it is crazy how how much these uh these trucking schools be be charging you and you got to make sure that you go to the right one too you know i mean 6500 50 50 sits for me 3000 you got to you really got to make sure uh if the school is is going to be up to par in getting you trained see some of these schools only train you just enough to get your license just to pass just to pass that's it they ain't going to teach you like like the essentials when you actually get out here on the road. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to teach you how to slide tandems, how to how to, you know, read a map or anything like that. They only going to just teach you the essentials so that you can get your license. Everything else is is up to you. Take this right hand right here. Use your left hand. Raise down that window. And take your right hand and throw all that shit that you learned in school out the window. Because when you get out here on the road, it's a totally different world out here. You know, you when you when you like it's it's like when you're in driving school, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You got somebody, you got somebody to co-pilot you, you got somebody to pull that trailer brake if you if you messed up or anything like that. You got somebody there, you know, like training wheels. But when you get out here by yourself. When you get out here by yourself and motherfuckers start cutting you off and 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 doing silly shit like that, you you gonna you know be like, oh my god, I, I ain't know what to do, what what to do, what to do. I was never told what to do. And then a lot of you guys that's coming out here too, yeah, a lot of you's like, yo, I just got my license. I'm happy, happy, joy, joy. Y'all doing the motherfucking Ren and Skimpy dance over there, like, yo, happy, happy, joy, joy, and all like this. And my problems is gonna be over. But think of it this way: you hit the lottery, right? You hit the lottery, and everything you you felt that was bad in the back and all like that. You're going to turn around and say, yo, I'm going to pay off all my bills. What you going to do with all that money, bro? I'm going to pay off my bills. I'm going to I'm going to buy my mama a new house and I'm, I'm going to get me a I'm going to get me a, a, a sporty sports car that I ain't never had before and all like that. And I, I got my I, I, I hit the lottery. I got my lot. I'm going to do so much big things. But think of it this way. You a brother that never had none. You don't know what to do with all that money. Then you're going to start getting into some bad investments. Then you're going to start getting everybody in a motherfucking mama will call you up and be like, yo, bro, I need some money. Uh, but, but I haven't talked to you in years. Like, who the fuck are you? 
It's the same thing. How you going to get your, your CDLs? You, you get your CDLs and everybody out of the Woolworth comes and like, oh man, that's good that you got. I got a cousin that does that truck drives. He's making all that money. He got this bit, he got this bit money and all like that. But then when you come out here and you get into that first fucking accident, then what? All of it, all of that shit is gone. All that, all that's gone. All that Ren and Skippy shit is, is gone. Poof. What if you don't even get an accident? What you get? What if you get a ticket? What if you get a speeding ticket? What if you get a a, a reckless driving ticket? Just like my man Javon said that he had to he 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 tried to hook up with 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 these these trucking firms. That you still got to come out of the pocket for for what five six seven eight hundred dollars? Maybe that's good if you was in a major wreck. But is that good if if you just get a minor ticket like what Javon got was one hundred and fifty dollars? Pay the ticket. You know. Still gonna have to pay five six hundred five six seven hundred uh. $500 for them to just go to court for you only to still have something on your record. It may not be major, but you still got something on your record though. Hit that trucking lottery. You know what I'm saying? You hit that trucking lottery. You rent and skippy dance and all like that. You come out here because everybody in the Facebook group does the same damn thing when they come in there. Hey, y'all, I got my license. I'm getting my test. So I'm doing this and I'm doing that tomorrow and all like that there. And then you guys turn around and be like, be like, oh, congratulations, yada, yada, yada. And then maybe about six months later, you come back and be like, oh, I'm done with trucking. I'm done. Well, but but six months ago, you was like, oh, happy, happy, joy, joy and shit. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm tired. I, you know, it, it, it's it, it's either. Here, here's the three. It's either about the money. It's not about it's not enough miles or you're not getting your home time. Those are three type. Those are three top things that that you guys complain about when y'all come when y'all brand new in the game, and then six months later y'all come back and say, "I'm not getting my money, I'm not getting my home time, and I'm not getting my miles." Well, you gotta understand something. You still new in the game too. You gotta at least put you. You gotta put it in work. You gotta put it in work. You gotta do what you don't want to do now to do what you want to do in the future. And then there's some companies out here that's just some fucked up companies out here, for real, you know? But the fucked up companies will be the companies that give you your chance to do what you need to do. U.S. Express, fucked up company, but they're going to give you your chance because they need drivers. J&R Shugel, fucked up company, but they're going to give you a chance because they need drivers, they're going to give you your chance. It is what it is when you come out here, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And think of it this way when you when you come out here too, you know, in the first year, you're not going to make no money. Don't quote me on that. You know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All right. All right. So that's that's it. That's that's it. That's my little uh my 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 little message for you guys before I get on up out of here. Attitude, what's going on? Uh stay tuned. Make sure y'all hit that bell. First year is gonna suck. Exactly. First year always sucks. First year always sucks. Period. Period. Don't think that you're going to get in this game and going to be making all that money and all like that, you know, doing this and doing that. It's going to suck. You're not going to get no miles. You're not going to get no money. You're not going to get shit. You're only going to get your experience. And that's what it's all about. Get your experience. Sometimes you got to, it's, it's not even one and done no more. It's not even one and done no more. It's like two, maybe three and done. Some companies, 
want two years. Some companies want three. Hell, I talked to a driver several months ago, said that a particular company wants five. Five years. So if you want to get to that to that status of being treated like a driver, getting paid like a driver, going, getting your home time like the company's supposed to, then, yeah, you're going to have to put in some work. You're going to have to put in some work, man. You know, just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So uh, with that said. With that said, I appreciate all you guys coming on, chilling with me. Uh, again, special again, special thanks to uh, Javon for coming on. Special thanks to Shannon for the uh, for the cash app. If you guys want to hook me up with anything, hook me up with some coffee or something like that. The link is in the description. Cash app, dollar sign, lockout men. Hook your boy up with some coffee, man. And for the people out here. Um, that's, that's asking me to call companies. I would like to do that. I got a few companies that I, that I would like to call, but I'm, I'm switching it up now. I'm, I'm going to have to let them know who I am because after doing the calls for over four years, I, I can't get away without, <laughs> can't get away without it. So Gonna have to let the people. Gonna have to let them know who I am, and if they want to talk to me, I'm gonna have to give them that opportunity to talk to me. If they don't want to talk to me, then I won't be able to get that information for you. But I probably could get some information. You know what I'm saying? I don't see what's. I don't see the matter to talking. But you know, I, I got to see if they want to come on or not. Even though I could still get them on there because of the phone call situation. But but now. After doing it for four years, some of the companies probably might have some reservations. So Noose Bomb is one of them. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So you guys want to get back at me. You guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. While this is playing me out right here, I am going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the support. You guys take it easy. Why are you even in my you phone? guys take it easy. And I am gone. I am out of here. Four, three, two, one. Sweet, the remix gone. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, what's up? Who's this hitting your phone over and over? Who's this hitting your phone over and over? Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, what's up? Who's this hitting your phone over and over? I don't know, what does the name say?